as we continue the journey of Holy Week. Today, we learn about the prediction of his death. Jesus predicted his own death for us. In John 12, 20, now there were some Greeks among them who went up to worship at the festival. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, with the request, sir, they said, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went to tell Andrew. Andrew and Philip then turned, told Jesus. Jesus replied, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly I tell you, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. Anyone who loves their life will lose it, while anyone who hates their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, my servants also will be. My Father will honor the one who serves me. Jesus knew what was coming. He knew the pain and suffering he would feel. And yet he still freely gave his life for us. He said, Father, save me from this hour. But for this purpose, I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Just as Jesus died for God, died for us, he put aside his own will for us. He asked that we do the same, that we die for him. Not a physical death, but we die to the faith, that we follow him in our day-to-day -day life. As this week continues, I ask that you spend some time in prayer, uh, some devotion time, to reflect on what was given freely for us. Just as I have left an old life to lead this one, I ask that you do the same for your sake. Have a blessed week. Thank you.